Hello guys and welcome back to All Around Sports. I am your host JJ Senso and we are back with another video today. And today we are going to be talking about the Thursday night football game that happened this week against the Los Angeles Chargers and the Kansas City Chiefs. The final score of this game was 27 to 24. The Kansas City Chiefs did win this game and it was the first Amazon Prime Thursday night football game. And first of all, I gotta say it looked amazing. I enjoyed the commentary and the mid-play graphics throughout the whole game. But can I say the camera quality was off the chain. It was truly amazing quality camera footage. It truly felt like I was there on the field watching the game at Arrowhead Stadium. But um, without further ado, let's dive right into this game and talk about the two teams that play the first Amazon Prime Thursday night football game ever. First, let's talk about the LA Chargers. Scored 24 points. Herbert in the offense played a great game. And they would have easily won this game if it wasn't for the pick six that Herbert threw in the fourth quarter. I mean, they were dominating the whole game, it felt like. I honestly felt the whole game that they were going to win this game. But they evidently didn't. But that's because of the seventh round rookie, Jalen Watson. I mean, clutch interception there going against Gerald Everett. A unlucky throw, and but a great play at the same time by Jalen Watson. Um, the defense played a great game, in my opinion. Khalil Mack and Joey Bosa provided good edge rush. <laughs> and what a hit that Derwin James laid on Travis Kelsey. I mean, I can't say it was a hit. It was a legit WWE spine buster. I mean, Triple H would have been super proud of that hit that Derwin James laid on Travis Kelsey. I mean, literally picked him up and then slammed him down. I mean, I could only imagine what was going on through Travis Kelsey's head whenever that play was going down. I mean... It was very scary, but it also looked very cool. I will say, though, the Chargers did a pretty good job at slowing down the passing game of Kansas City. They only allowed Patrick Mahomes to get to 235 yards. Yes, he scored two touchdowns, but his highest receiver was Travis Kelsey, who only had 55 yards. Um, they did a really good job at limiting him and the running game. They did uh, let off a 52-yard rush by Clyde Edwards-Hilaire, but... For the most part, this team did not give up that many yards. They gave up a little over 300 yards. I think it was 319 yards. Um, the LA Chargers had over 400 yards of offense. When you look at the numbers, LA should have really won this game, but it really just came down to that pick six. But um, they just didn't run the ball well also. They got a total as a team of 75 yards. Their starting running back, Austin Eckler, only got 39 of those. But you, there are two huge bright spots this game, in my opinion. I mean, Mike Williams, 8 for 113 with a touchdown and a great game for him. I mean, he, his stock continues to rise. I think he is a top five pass catcher, just catching passes in the game. I mean, some of the catches he made tonight were absolutely insane. Somebody's got to check that man's gloves. I mean, it was making no sense, some of the catches that he was making. And the other bright spot was Gerald Everett. I mean, six for 71, he looked really good at the tight end position, and it would be huge if LA can have a consistent tight end. They haven't had a consistent tight end there since Antonio Gates, and he hasn't been there for a while. I mean, Antonio Gates was a very trustworthy tight end, and I think Gerald Ever could be that. I mean, he was a great tight end at LA for the LA Rams, and he just moves to the LA Chargers, and I think he'll be a great tight end there. Ultimately, though, it was the Chiefs that barely edged this game out. I mean, let's talk about the Chiefs. They did a great job at spreading the catches to a ton of different players. I mean, yes, you, I said that Patrick Mahomes only got 235 yards, but he threw the ball to nine different players. I mean, nine different players had a catch, and he targeted 10 players total. I mean, Andy Reid drew up a great game to spread the ball to as many players as he can. I mean, and all the Kansas City players came to play this game. I mean... He only got sacked one time, and it was a very short sack. It was only like a four-yard sack, which you you can take that. Sometimes that's a bad run play. Um, they did a great job of keeping him clean, but also at the same time, you got to credit Mahomes for his ability to get out of the pocket and create on the run and with his sidearm throws, his weird off the back leg, off the front leg. I mean, he is such a dynamic quarterback in the way that he gets the ball to his receivers and his running backs and his tight ends and just spreads the ball all throughout the field with his cannon of an arm, still proving that he is a top three quarterback in the game. Ultimately, though, this game came down to the clutch pick six 
by Jalen Watson to win the game. I mean, it was after that pick six. It just took all the life out of the whole Chargers team. And after they got the ball back, or when they kicked the ball off to the Chargers, they created a three and out, and then the Chiefs just took advantage of the game, taking their time driving down the field, burning so much clock. Ultimately scored a field goal on the end of that drive to make the score 27-17. Luckily, they did do that because Herbert did drive down there and score a touchdown. That is one thing I will give the Chargers credit for. They never gave up in this game. Herbert is slowly rising up the stock. I think you can make an argument for him being a top six quarterback. I have him inside the top 10. But I think he is a great quarterback in this game. Um, but yeah, whenever that pick six occurred, the whole LA Chargers team, all their momentum, all their power, all their energy just got sucked out of them. And eventually, the Kansas City Chiefs just ran out clock, kicked a field goal, and then they just won the game. But um, in conclusion, I think this game was amazing for both teams. I mean, it really showed their strengths and weaknesses. Both teams looked great this game. I mean, I think the Chargers looked amazing, and it still proves why I put them at number two. They should have won this game, but, I mean, that pick six killed them. I mean, that's what turnovers do. And... Chargers didn't force any turnovers, and whenever you give up a 99-yard touchdown, it's kind of difficult to win the game. But um, the, str the struggles were a little bit evident for the Chargers, especially in the running game. They really could not run the ball. I mean, credit to um, Chris Jones. What a great game for him, just manhandling the middle. He looked amazing this whole game. There were so many plays where he just threw offensive linemen out of the way. And he just dominated the interior. But there are still positives to come out of this game for the Chargers. I mean, Gerald Ever, Mike Williams, I already talked about them, but they proved that they can be reliable in big games. And whenever Keenan Allen comes back, I think this offense will be truly devastating to play against and extremely fun to watch as a neutral when it comes to these two teams. But when Keenan Allen comes back, I believe that the Chargers offense will be a top two offense. And the number one is Buffalo Bills, but... I think the Chargers are going to still be a scary team this year, especially with the people that they got on defense this year. Adding Khalil Mack and JC Jackson is going to prove huge, especially down the line whenever their experience kicks in and their playoff experience kicks in. But I think this was a great Thursday night football game. Amazing. I enjoyed Amazon and how they ran this game. Of course, it does suck that you have to have Prime, but if you do have it and you can't afford it, I would highly recommend buying it and it was so much fun watching this game i mean what a game to lead it off with kansas city versus la i think this is a playoff matchup for sure both these teams and uh an afc west conference game or division game it was amazing i think these two teams are going to meet in the playoffs sometime and they're going to be rivals for so many years to come it'll be amazing to watch herbert in Mahomes. I mean, that AFC West is just a doghouse, and that's that's a separate video, so let me outro this one. It's been All Around Sports. I'm your host, Jay Jacinto, and it was a pleasure talking to you guys tonight, and I will see you guys next time. Goodbye.